one of the most groundbreaking scientific studies that were done in the last 30 or 40 years is when they did uh, fMRIs on monks during meditation. Because the whole thing that we're learning to do within mindfulness and all the stuff we're talking about is facilitate the process of neuroplasticity. That's what it comes down to, right? That neuroplasticity is our brain's ability to change, to be plastic, right? And forever, the research community, the brain science community, psychologists and all that, they thought that, you know, you're born and we'll talk about mindset too, because I like to help people understand like what a real mindset is. There's a lot of mindset coaches out there and stuff like that, but if they don't know what a mindset is, meaning the anatomical physiological structure of your brain, your brain set, and they don't know what a mindset is, right? And we'll talk about that because it's relevant to the conversation. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but so they were doing these images of a monk during meditation and they could see that um, this monk, or well, first let me say that before they did this stuff forever, we thought a person was born with kind of like your brain, right? Here's your brain. You're born with this brain. And yeah, it's fixed. Can't really, it's fixed. It's fixed, right? Yeah. Fixed mindset, right? Like you can't really do much. If you're an asshole, we can try to do things to make you less of an asshole, right? Through medication or counseling, but we can't truly like change your brain structurally, right? They thought that the only way that could happen was through a traumatic event <clears throat> or a really profound religious experience. Something shook this person to the core and they came out different. Well, when they were doing these images of monks meditating, they could see that the monks, while sitting doing meditation, could proactively facilitate the process of neuroplasticity or neural pruning specifically, breaking old neural pathways, right? Breaking them and then forming new ones. And they're like, holy shit, like he's just doing it right there by himself, proactively, intentionally. And so that opened up this whole new landscape of understanding the brain and the brain's capabilities and our ability to change it and, and strengthen it, you know, like a bicep.